Okay, so we had a tornado warning issued earlier today around 3.30 for the Arco and Howe area for Butte County, and we had rotation on the radar, and the National Weather Service fired off a warning, uh, fired off a warning because they could see that rotation on radar, and also we were getting several photos. Amanda sent this one of the wall cloud. Now, the wall cloud is a very typical spot where you can get a tornado or funnel cloud spurting out of the downdraft of a thunderstorm, so this could be the start of a tornado but we thankfully had no reports of a tornado. But now we're left with flooding. All the runoff from the hail and the heavy rain coming off the mountains there around Butte County now coming into Arco. And there's more rain on the way into Arco right now. We've even seen some flooding come through town. And we just got this photo in from Facebook of flooding coming off of Number Hill. We have also had reports of some flooding at Lost River Hospital and the Era Street Bridge is closed in Arco. I want to thank our Facebook viewer who sent this in. I don't think it's his real name. He said he goes by the name of Bean on Facebook. So if Bean, if you're watching, thank you for the photo. Uh, I'll, I, if whatever your real name is, thank you very much. April sent this in from Bananas. The thunderstorm then went through Jefferson County. We had a really raucous hailstorm that got over Manan Rigby, and the severe thunderstorm warning for Manan has been expired. But look at this. Her garden is uh, destroyed there. My condolences, April, as the thunderstorm comes through. Now the thunderstorm warning has been extended into Teton County, Idaho, till 715. Let me take you really close in the First Alert Live Sweeping Viper radar. So the core of this thunderstorm is now leaving Rexburg. Rexburg, that thunderstorm warning looks to expire here in the next minute or so at 615. But still lots of lightning on the backside of that thunderstorm, and now the core is getting into the mountains east of Rexburg, but the concern is still that runoff heading back into town. Now it's heading into Teton County till 715. That's the warning. So Driggs, Victor, Tetonia, you're up now with this thunderstorm that is coming into your county, and that's pushing towards the east here at about 20 to 30 miles per hour. So the storm is starting just to make its way. Now just starting to get into the leading edges of the Teton County there. This also goes for everybody who lives along Highway 33 there as you get around towards Tetonia. So everybody along Highway 33 east of Rexburg, you're under the warning until 7:15, and there's more thunderstorms right now getting into Arco and uh, Island Park. In fact, I'll go back over to Viper Radar. There we go. In Idaho Falls, we still have more thunderstorms coming in. Uh, very spotty thunderstorms right now. Nothing too severe, but we are getting some thunderstorms now, just starting to get into Shelley. And let me take you back over to Arco. So the flooding potential is there. Lots of light, and with more thunderstorms getting into Butte County. And let me take you also around Pocatello. We have more thunderstorms now coming off the mountains here, and some lightning strikes in the last few minutes. More of this moisture coming in from the west, and it's getting into American Falls, Rockland right now. Do we see an end? No. <laughs> There's an end to this by next week, and I'm talking middle to later of next week. Double barrel low scenario here. Low of Gulf, over the Gulf, uh, Gulf of California here, Southern California. Low in British Columbia coming off of uh, Victoria there, and it's going to be pushing further into the weekend. We're going to be looking for more of these scattered showers. Let me take you to Vipercast. Tonight, 10 o'clock. Scattered showers with us. More passing showers overnight into tomorrow morning with a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Friday afternoon around 2 o'clock, look at this. Showers of plenty from Salmon to Soda into Jackson Island Park. There is a break there in Twin, but even Sun Valley, Stanley getting hit here with scattered showers early tomorrow afternoon. There is a bit patch of drier air trying to get in here for tomorrow around 6 o'clock, but it's going to be a very uh, small square of dry air with more scattered showers coming in for Saturday morning. And the Saturday morning showers will be into the mountains and the national parks with some sunshine to get the weekend started in Idaho Falls. Don't be fooled. There are more showers into Saturday afternoon and through Sunday as we get going into Saturday and Sunday with a drop in the temperatures. And that low out of Canada I just showed you, it's going to take us back to much cooler conditions. Your winds at 10 to 15, the winds are going to pick up a bit there for Saturday and Sunday. And take a look at the numbers dropping off. 71 for Friday, 69 on Saturday, 72 on Sunday. Scattered showers there into Monday and Tuesday. The pattern finally breaks by late Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. And then look at the temperatures. They just rock it back towards 80 degrees. So we're looking at 69 for a high Saturday afternoon, 72 on Sunday, 73 for Monday. Scattered showers all weekend long all across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming with 69 for Saturday, 73 for Pocatello Sunday. And Pocatello, we're shooting back towards 80 degrees by Wednesday and Thursday. Rexburg also looking to see a break by the later half of next week here, but it's going to be a cool, breezy weekend with more scattered showers, 65 for Saturday. 71 on Sunday and scattered storms into Monday and Tuesday. Blackfoot also looking at scattered storms here into the weekend with highs around 69 for Saturday, 73 as we get into Sunday. Jackson Hole, the National Parks, yeah, it's a mess this weekend. Temperatures into the upper 50s, lower 60s for Jackson Hole, 64 on Sunday. And we're looking for those scattered showers to continue, especially into the high country. Island Park, 59 on Saturday. Whew, that's cold for August.
I agree. Sure is. Yeah. Let's do something about that. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get it. The 75 <laughs> by the next day. Uh, yeah. I'm just the messenger here, okay. and I'm all telling right. you the pattern <laughs> is going to be this way from now for a while. All, for a while. All right, thank you, Michael. Well, coming up tonight on Local News 8 at 10, the Pocatello City Council is meeting to decide changes to fees in the city. Why that could mean taxes in Pocatello could be going up. We'll explain the 10. We'll also have the latest information on the flooding situation in Arco. A local boy is asking the public's help in making his wish of a new heart come true. After the break, find out how you can help. Don't go anywhere. Local News 8 will be right back.